do you know about this bad cholesterol you must know about this bad cholesterol because this is a bad cholesterol when circulating when it is more in your so blood keeps collecting on the inner surface of your blood vessels forming a plaque formation resulting in atherosclerosis and heart attack so bad cholesterol can result in heart attack if it is little more so this is what the advice being given by so most of the doctors so and they keep advising you to get this one test that is the cholesterol being test especially the bad cholesterol so what is this bad cholesterol it is ldl low density lipoprotein the doctors keep advising you to get this low density lipoprotein that is ldl test being done and after testing if it is more if it is even if it is little more also they advise you to take regularly take a medication for this ldl low density so lipoprotein so but ldl that is a low density lipoprotein bad cholesterol calling this as a bad cholesterol that causes heart attack this is a myth this is a 200% wrong information let us see how this cholesterol is being produced within our body so our body is the only thing which cares about us not even our parents the only body will the body our body has to survive so it is the only thing which cares only about us so when it is caring about us how can it produce something which is a bad they call it this ldl as a bad cholesterol this ldl is being produced within our body why our body produces this ldl our body produces the cholesterol so again in this cholesterol it converts this cholesterol into two forms that is the ldl and hdl this ldl and hdl are being produced they are they are being produced within our body to serve two different purposes so for example if somebody is having a two kids so one may become a doctor and another may become an engineer they are the kids of the same parents but still they have to serve certain different purpose so become the doctor and engineer like that the cholesterol which is being produced within our body there are to serve two different purposes it gets converted into one is ldl another is hdl then what is this ldl cholesterol so whatever the nutrients what we consume that is the carbohydrate protein and fat they get metabolized within our body producing something called as acetyl coa and this acetyl coa is being used by the body in creating in producing this cholesterol so liver produces cholesterol from the food whatever we eat and this only only this liver converts this cholesterol into ldl and hdl to serve two different purposes so what is the purpose of uh, producing this ldl so ldl cholesterol the body needs every cell of our body needs cholesterol so what is use of cholesterol cholesterol is needed for cell membrane every cell of our body will be having this cell membrane for this cell membrane they need this cholesterol second thing is hormones so hormones like estrogen sex hormones like estrogen and the testosterone so they need this cholesterol so to produce to differentiate to get differentiate into male and female we need these hormones and these hormones need the cholesterol third thing is vitamin d synthesis so vitamin many say that we, if you go to uh, sunlight will get the vitamin d so it's not uh, true so we need to have cholesterol sufficient cholesterol that is ldl cholesterol so this ldl cholesterol in the presence of sunlight gets converted into vitamin d so vitamin d synthesis also needs this ldl cholesterol then the nerves our brain as well as the nerves need this cholesterol and also digestion so proper proper digestion so like a bile has to be produced and this bile needs this cholesterol so major mechanisms many cells almost all the cells of our body they need the cholesterol how do they get the cholesterol it's not from the cholesterol which is there in the blood so it has to be get converted into ldl so ldl cholesterol the cells our body cells use the cholesterol from the ldl so the every cell of our body which require cholesterol is provided from the ldl cholesterol so this ldl cholesterol is not harmful it is very much beneficial but many keep telling that it should be under uh, it should be less than 100 or it should be less than 150 if it is more than 100 or 150 then it can result in heart attack that is cardiac arrest but uh, many people keep telling that this ldl level should be less than 100 or less than 150 if it is above this it can result in heart attack but it is a wrong it's a fake information but again anything which is more is abnormal 
if a protein is more again it will uh, damage your kidney if carbohydrate is more it will uh, uh, result in diabetes if vitamins are more again it can result in any disease certain diseases as well as the minerals like calcium magnesium whatever if the minerals are also high then also it can result in certain diseases like that ldl should also be controlled i'm not saying that that causes heart attack but it should be under control advising you to get this ldl level done regularly is a big business and also prescribing medicines if it is little bit more than 100 or 150 advising you to re- take medications regularly is also a big business ldl level even if it is a more can be controlled naturally so by making certain changes in your food habits so lifestyle modification can 100% control your ldl level if you need precise and scientific information about health then only subscribe to our channel namaste